Live from Seattle, Washington, it's theCUBE on the ground. Covering KubeCon 2016. Brought to you by the Linux Foundation and Red Hat. Here's your host, John Furrier. Hello everyone, we are here in Seattle for KubeCon, Cloud Native Con. This is the Cube special on the ground coverage. I'm John Furrier, the host of the Cube, and I'm here with Bick Lee, the chief architect and co-founder of Platform Nine. Welcome to the Cube. Thanks for having me. I got the colors of the shirt there. Good promo yes. on the on the name. Get on get on the video. Good good for you. You guys are a startup, three years old. I mean, come on, you couldn't have asked for more turbulent waters than coming in three years ago. I mean, what a ride you've had. What's yes. your experience? I mean, go back three years, take us through from here to now, the founding of the company, what you guys have been doing, mm -hmm. what's been the journey like? So prior to uh, Platform 9, my, my friends and I, um, my co-founders and I spent many years at uh, VMware, and we were ready to kind of go in separate you know, directions that had been there for a very long time. But um, I was ready for the next step, and so uh, were they. And we saw an opportunity, and we decided to gang up together and, and pursue it. Um, the opportunity that we saw was that open source software is just getting amazing and ruling the world, especially in the infrastructure space, right, for running um, compute, storage, networking. But what's um, defining uh, this kind of software is it's fairly complex to operate. So um, we saw an opportunity in users who want to leverage uh, that op uh, open source software to run their infrastructure, especially those who are have not committed to the public cloud yet. So they want to have the same kind of agility but using their own resources, their own hardware, or sometimes they run their own hardware and a combination of public clouds. And we wanted to give those types of customers the ability to run a cloud at scale using the greatest and latest open source software. And we wanted to operate that as a service. So, you know, just like uh, a SaaS, almost like a SaaS type of business. And so that that's how Platform 9 was born. And do you have that SaaS now? Is that the offering that you guys offer? Is exactly. basically scale up as a service? For um, enterprises, private cloud, public cloud, or how exactly. do you guys differentiate? Um, to, to, to simplify it uh, for you, um, think of it as a, a customer wants to run some kind of open source stack, such as OpenStack, that's where we um, started. They have a bunch of um, you know, uh, compute hardware and networking and storage, but, but they can't afford an entire IT staff to run that. Mm -hmm. So using Platform 9, they can, w with very minimal installation and configuration, just install a very small piece of software, and then they go into the Platform 9 web portal and from there, they can deploy um, a, an open source cloud stack in minutes. And then from there on, we take care of operating that uh, control plane. So it's instant cloud for, exactly. for the customer. Yes. You essentially prefabricate based on what they select. Exactly. For the cloud stack. Mm -hmm. Okay, so what problem do you solve? This, this comes down to the, 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 to the challenge that everyone has is they want to go to the cloud fast. Mm -hmm. They might not have the resources internally talent wise. There is software out there that they'd have to cobble together. Some may be in building blocks, some might be microservices. So they're confused. But So the question is for you guys, what problem do you solve for them? Yes. We solve um, all of the life cycle um, steps and, and problems associated with operating a cloud. But more importantly, we solve the problem of doing the ongoing management and operations, uh, troubleshooting, monitoring, and backups and things like upgrades. You know, pe people don't uh, think of those things when they start uh, a POC with a cloud. Uh, we've we've uh, gone through that, and we know that it's hard. And that's yeah. that is the value that we we. So offer. when does a uh, an envir a customer, a potential customer of yours, need to call you? When what's the signs of pain or opportunity that they'd be like? I need Platform Nine. What's some of the use cases that you could walk us through? <laughs> Um, a typical use case would be, you know, we, um, as a customer, I have a bunch of legacy systems that uh, are operated in a very manual way. 
I want the agility of something like an Amazon cloud, but for various reasons, maybe compliance, regulatory, or other, or policy, I can't go straight to the Amazon cloud. So I would like to have some of that agility using my own resources, my own data centers. Um, but I can't afford to hire an IT staff to learn and, and operate. Uh, so it's a quick, so. it's a quick uh, stand up of cloud like cloud native exactly. architecture. So you're our first wave of getting set up with a stack for cloud native. So yes. if I'm an IT guy, I'm like, you know, my alternative is to hire 10 more guys or X number of guys yes. versus go to platform nine. Is exactly. That, am I getting that right? You're getting it right. Um, maybe one thing to clarify is one of our main innovations is we operate your cloud from our own data centers, from our own control plane that we run in the cloud. And this is indicative of a new trend. You know, I, I don't know if you've reused the Ring doorbell or some modern networking equipment. These are things that you install on premises, but they're managed from the cloud. And that's how we can scale. That's, that's, your, how we can that's your secret sauce. You want to enable the edge of the network applications, whether it's a, the ring, by the way, for the folks who don't know it, that's the, the camera that you can pre-record the voice. I love that product. They see the commercial, I'm like, I need that. Yes. I'd love to have that. Especially uh, people come to my door, you know, have some, well, all kinds of things. But that is Nest is the same concept. You see Nest. Exactly. Um, Dropcam was a huge success. Mm -hmm. By the way, cloud-based Amazon. Um, and no one invested in that company, by the way, until it, it, uh, it hit critical mass. But that's that's the new apps that are coming out. Exactly. And, and the alternative is to fund the hell out of it, stand up a lot of resource, or have a team that knows the cloud. Exactly. And so you solve that problem. We solve that, that right? problem, yes. Okay, so what's next for the company? What do you guys do? How big is the team? What's the funding? What's the status of the startup? Obviously, three years old, you're you're kind of like growing up fast. What's the give us the state of the product and the, the team and the company? We're growing really fast, and um, you know, open source software again is evolving very quickly. A few years ago, when we started, OpenStack was um, really uh, on the minds of uh, many people, and uh, we're seeing something repeat itself with uh, containers, Docker, and Kubernetes, and since we've built a technology that allows us to deploy and manage almost any kind of open source stack. We are now offering a um, managed Kubernetes service that is very similar to the you know the OpenStack one that uh, we had, um, and that means we can remove complexity and run this on behalf of the customer. And we're not limited to uh, OpenStack and Kubernetes. There's many types of. What's the software. feedback from customers? that you have it's, right now. It's, it's, uh, the people, our customers, just, just really love us because um, in many cases, our monitoring systems will catch uh, errors uh, you know, as they happen and will, it will be fixed even before it results in any uh, visible uh, downtime. What's the next big thing for you guys? Data analytics in the cloud? What's the next thing that you guys see on the horizon for big features? Yeah, uh, one thing that we have been exploring is other companies have noticed um, our technology and our platform, and they want to solve similar problems with their products, which is sometimes difficult to stand up, install, or operate. And perhaps they're, they're thinking and talking to us about using Platform 9 as a delivery vehicle for their own products. Yeah, That's almost like how containers can contain storage, like Red Hat does. Take storage and put a container around it. Yes. You're a Platform 9 for standing up stacks. Exactly. Well, congratulations, Vic. Thanks for coming on theCUBE. Congratulations on the startup. Um, we'll, we'll keep an eye out for you. You guys located in- uh, Sunnyvale. In Sunnyvale. Yeah. So we're in Palo Alto. So we have to get you up to theCUBE and come to the uh, Silicon Valley Friday show that I have podcast one of these Fridays to give us the update. Thanks for uh, coming on theCUBE. Thanks for sharing. Thanks. Thanks for having us. I'm John Furrier on the ground here at Docker, uh, not DockerCon, <laughs> CubeCon. I get confused. DockerCon, it's all good. CubeCon and um, uh, CloudNativeCon. We'll be right back. Thanks for watching.